Perfect. Can I get a 10% discount? Say again. Can I get a 10% discount? Four. Okay, I have a really, really good story to tell you today. So I've just finished the first chapter in the book I'm currently reading, which is called A Millionaire or Million Dollar Weekend by Noah Keegan. And I kind of spoke about this in episode one, where one of my goals in the first three months of this year, 2024, was just to understand or you know try and find the answer to the question of how do I choose or pick what business I would like to eventually go into, meaning like, well, you know, I want to open a business. I want to, I want to make a company one day. I did dearly this year, but like my question was, how do you choose the, the right company and stuff? And it was just something that's always on my mind. And now that I read that book and it's such a good book, like I read the first chapter, one of the concepts in the first chapter was kind of gearing you up before you you know, start the building phase of the of the business. It's just to understand rejections. Rejections is something that if you can control and be comfortable with, you can honestly harness a massive, massive power. And it's it's honestly great. And one of the things actually I do on quite a very you know daily basis is do cold calls um for the current job i'm in initially i actually was probably quite bad (laughs) very bad at cold calls this was because it was kind of nerve-wracking you know you you'd probably most likely be rejected i made sure that you know what no matter what i'm going to keep going i'm going to keep going and uh, to my surprise or not really surprise actually I actually ended up doing really well in that aspect and established myself as someone that does this quite often, but also does it really well. So, and it's it's just something I'm very like curious about and I really like and and getting over fears and stuff like that. Because ultimately I feel like if you can get over any fear, you can grow. And one of the things in the book was saying, you have to come get across that internal fear and to do that is to actually face rejection because a lot of the times we can limit ourselves from certain things because we we just simply face rejection once or twice and we give up and I think that's what separated myself from making those cold calls versus someone else that tried a few and didn't really want to do it because like the, the, the feeling of rejection was not great on their end. Good morning could I please get a flat white please? Black white, yes? Yeah, that's it, thanks. You don't want a croissant as a new thing when you No, no, that's all right. Thank you. Thanks. And one of the things in that book by Noah Keegan, the last challenge, they have little challenges, and the last challenge in that first chapter was called the coffee challenge. And it's basically going up to a coffee shop and just saying, can I get 10% discount? Yesterday, I did that. I went into a coffee shop in the morning when I was walking to work. Went downstairs, and this is a coffee shop that I do tend to go to fairly often, not like not too often, to be honest. And I go in, and in the book, it tells you like a little script to use, but it's pretty simple. Like, it's like, hey, how is it going? The cashier would be like, hey, it's good. What would you like? I say, can I get a cappuccino or a flat white? And then they're like, Cool, no problem. Anything else? And I just say, can I get a 10% discount? How's it going? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Thank you so much. Yep. I I do actually, yeah. Um, not sure how many points I've got at the moment, but B and B a few. Perfect. Can I get a 10% discount? Can I get a 10% discount? Four. Just random. Don't do 10% discounts. That's okay, no problem. We, we cannot, uh, we don't have that option anymore. That's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The... no, I'm actually just reading a book and uh, it just said, Say again. I'm actually just reading a random book and it just said, ask for 10%. But I just wanted to ask. Yeah. That's all right. If that would be a year ago, I would do it. But yeah. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. Should have, I should have brought my time machine. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good day. 
Okay, that was close. That one was close. I didn't quite get it. Yeah, so that was close. That obviously didn't happen. Um, but that was, it's just kind of getting over that fear internally. Like I, I was kind of shaky a little bit, but not as much, not as much. Cause I obviously did it yesterday and it wasn't, wasn't too bad. So what happened yesterday was I went into that coffee shop. I went downstairs. I was a bit nervous cause there was a person in front of me and I didn't really want to ask for a 10% discount and just sound a bit cheap. But you know what? Like that was the internal fear that number one I had. And I had to internalize it and be like, okay, cool. This is a fear I'm having at the moment. But why am I really, I'm like, well, I shouldn't be fear about, I shouldn't really be feel fearful about this. So I was just like, screw it. I'm just going to do it, right? Just, you have to say, you have to make that switch manually. Like, cause your brain is going to come up with a multitude of different excuses. You have to just say, screw it now. And I just went in, I went up to the guy and I was like, hey man, um, how's it going? He said, yeah, it's going good. What would you like? I said, could I get a, an Americano? And he was like, yeah, sure. And then he puts it on the screen, puts the number in, £2.90 or whatever. Which, by the way, is kind of a lot, isn't it? Um, for an Americano. Anyway, he goes, anything else? And I just say, can I get a 10% discount? Pause. And it was a bit awkward. And he was just like, sure. And when he said, I expect him to just straight away give me a 10% discount. I was expecting rejection, right? I was expecting to be like, okay, cool. He's just not going to give me that. You know, I, I, I just didn't expect, I was actually throwing back. I was surprised. And when he said, sure. And then he goes, actually, I'll give you a hundred percent. And you don't understand my internally, everything just changed and it just felt so good. I can't even describe it. And I was just so happy. Like I was genuinely so happy. And I, and I told him like, he asked me like, what, what's this for? And, and I just said to him, listen, this is for, I'm reading a book and his colleague was there as well. I'm reading a book and it, this is one of the challenges. And you gave me a 10% discount. I mean, you gave me a hundred percent discount. So I really appreciate that and everything. And he was really curious about what the book was. So I literally whipped it out and I, the guy took a picture as well. And it was really nice. Like we had such a good moment and it was just like, it was, such a good moment there where I got a free coffee. I also had a nice interaction with the cashier and the other, his, his uh, colleague as well. And like, I went about my day, but that if I had listened to my internal fear, my brain saying no and no, cause it, it took me about a couple minutes to really like psych myself up to just go and ask. I wouldn't have gotten that feeling and I wouldn't have got that, that whole experience. And, and I asked him like, why did you say yes to, well, not just a 10%, but a full free coffee. And he just said, you just have to ask. Like he just says he gets so many customers, but nothing like no one ever like comes up and just asks. Right. And I'm not saying if you ask, you're going to get what you, you, what you ask for, right. You're not going to get it. But the point of this exercise is to actually get used to the, to being rejected and to get used to that internal fear because you're meant to get rejected. I, that was my first time I did it yesterday. And I got like, it was, I got a free coffee, which is probably extremely rare, but you just, you're meant to get rejected. Like, and that's fine. And you just saw that I, for this coffee today, it was the second time I'm doing this challenge. I got rejected. That was the first rejection I got. And to be honest, it wasn't too bad. Like I feel good. And like, you know, we had a good conversation with that cashier as well. Um, but it, you know, it's just asking, like, I'm, I know I'm meant to be rejected and you just got to keep going with that. One thing I would say though, is yesterday when I got the free coffee, I immediately went into the elevator, saw one of my managers and I explained to her, like, this is what happened. And she was like, wow, like that's a, such a sick story. Then I went up to my, my desk and I told my team and the, and the team around me and everyone was really psyching me up, you know, gassing it all up. And it was just so such a good moment then. And do you know what it is? The whole day, I felt good. The whole day from 9 a.m. all the way until 6 p.m. in that day, I felt so good. And it actually affected not my mood, well, of course my mood, but then my mood affected my output, my performance. It, everything kind of just like spiraled just because I set the tone in that morning with that positive getting over that rejection or actually in that case, 
winning it and getting a free coffee. But even today, when I just got rejected, I still feel good and I feel like I feel confident now. And just a little bit, right? And I imagine the more times you do this, the more times you get over that internal fear and and you get used to being rejected. This thing comes. You can you can roll with the punches, and once you can roll with the punches, then it becomes such a an easy way to go through life. And do you know what it is? With cold calling, or which I referred to before, you get rejected a lot. So you get rejected, 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 rejected. Cool. You you land someone, and the guy or girl says yes. Would you get rejected? Rejected. Yes. Rejected, 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 rejected. Yes, rejected. Yes, rejected, rejected, rejected. Yes, you're gonna get rejected a lot, but if you get you get those yeses as well, and those yeses make that rejection even like more powerful because sorry, make the yes more powerful because you've gone through the difficult levels of being rejected, and once you land the sucker punch, once you land the win, it feels really good, and it just builds that momentum. The same thing with life. Right, like I feel like if you're used to whether it's being rejected in the dating world, whether it's being rejected in in other aspects, it doesn't matter. You roll with the punches. You build character. You have resilience. It's just such a transferable thing. And I've only been doing it for since yesterday with this after reading the book, and it's honestly changed my mindset and it's changed just like my attitude towards rejection. And one thing that Noah Keegan said in his book is like. Look for rejections, not necessarily yes, because if you're looking for the yeses, you know you're craving these yeses. You're, you're putting so much emphasis, and when you don't get it, then you feel disappointed, and like you you lose that motivation. Whereas he counts rejections, and he sets a target. This morning, I'm trying to get 25 rejections, and I actually did that yesterday as well. I said to myself, let's. I put like a rejection counter on my cold calls, and then I put, cool. I'm going to try and aim for 25 rejections. Actually, the first call I made, it wasn't even a rejection. It was a yes, which is kind of another one blew my mind. So, you know what? If you count for the rejections, you're gonna find those yeses as well, and it just makes that yes even more powerful. And I like, and I have a saying as well: aim high, expect low. Good luck.